What's up everybody, Dooley Ray here, and today we are going to be taking a closer look at the Void. Uh, specifically in the Uncollected quest, uh, so if you're not at that level, this is to help you out facing him in Heroic or Master mode, whatever you're doing. This is how I know to fight Void so far. This is what I've figured out. I'm trying to help you out. So, uh, let's take a look at his abilities here. Uh, first off, his signature ability, I don't see it really affecting you uh, when you're fighting against him, when you're using him. Oh, this might just be freaking amazing. I really can't tell right now. I can't say for sure how good he's going to be, but from reading, the more I read about him, the more he just he comes off as a full-on god-tier champion. I'm trying not to get too hyped right now, but this guy seems really, really good. Okay, his uh, signature ability... Doesn't seem to really affect uh, you too much. You, you don't have to worry about it as much when you're fighting against him. The main thing that you're worrying about here is his intimidating presence and the debuffs that he puts on you. Uh, because those deal a lot of damage, especially at these higher levels. So in the uncollected level here, it deals like 400 damage a second. So I don't know how much it does at lower levels. I haven't gotten there yet. But this is, this is how you fight against him, okay? Let's do this. Uh, so his intimidating presence is a debuff that's put on you. Uh, it happens every 10 seconds. Uh, it inflicts just a random debuff, and it does a bunch of damage because for each, uh, let's see here, each debuff that you have, yeah, for each unique debuff type, the opponent takes 326.6 direct damage per second. This is uh, also uh, PSA. <laughs> Don't use suicides against this guy. You will be destroyed immediately. So if you have the bleed and the poison on you, you'll be taking 800 damage a second, and there's no way to fight against that. So don't take anybody in that's using suicides. If you can, take in people that are immune to bleed and poison, just so that you don't have to deal with the suicides, or uh, just take off suicides altogether if you're using that. So if you're not, don't worry about it. It doesn't apply to you. Uh, what you gotta worry about then is the Intimidating Presence debuff he puts on you every 10 seconds. Alright, so there's an Agility debuff, a Fatigue debuff, a Petrify debuff, um, and they all do different things. Right now, I wouldn't worry too much about what they actually do. Uh, let's see, the Agility debuff reduces ability accuracy of Evade and Dexterity. Uh, fatigue reduces your critical rating, and Petrify reduces the effectiveness of Power Gain and Regeneration. So... Uh, your goal here is to get rid of these debuffs when they're put on you as fast as possible. And the way you do this is there's a way to purify yourself uh, when you attack Void. Uh, yeah, so you can purify one Intimidating Presence debuff for every 10 hits on your combo meter. So what you want to do here is before he puts the debuff on you, maybe just before it has like a small little timer that goes right before it puts on the big debuff on you. So when that small timer is going, you want to be at a combo of uh, like a 9 or 19, anything that ends with a 9, so you can just get one hit in and completely purify yourself of the debuff. With that, you should be able to take him down. So uh, I have some recorded footage of me fighting... Uh, void, and we'll go ahead and take a look at that.
All right, so there you go. That's uh, what I know about Void right now. I hope this helps you out at least a little bit. My goal here is to make this as easy as possible for you because he was a pain in the butt to figure out at first, and he can be a bit easier if you know how to play against him. So, hope that helped you. Thank you so much for stopping by today, and until I see you next, hang in there. May the RNG be with you. Goodbye.